guys, welcome to uh, the world, or rather in this case the basement of uh, Meshuggah. Uh, right now we're uh, writing for an album that will hopefully be out in 2016. And uh, we're going to just show you a little bit of how we work some things out. Uh, sometimes a, a song idea comes from a guitarist or a bass player. Uh, Sometimes it comes from me as a drummer, and uh, and a lot of those times when it's kind of my song, so to speak, uh, it's something that originates or starts uh, with me kind of messing around at the kit, and and uh, sometimes you find something cool in that, and that you are able to make into an actual Meshuggah song. So we're gonna just do a short little thing without revealing too much of this uh, this particular song. Um, it's more of a rhythmical idea so far, and you, you'll get the, 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 the gist of it when uh, you see how we work this thing. Uh, so I'm going to play it on the kit uh, just a short little bit, and then uh, we'll show you how we take it from there, program it, and uh, kind of take it into the computer world and kind of continue from there. So hope you guys enjoy it. this little tidbit of a of a clip with the uh, Meshuga thing that uh, I played downstairs uh, at the kit. Uh, this is just to kind of quickly show you how we uh, how we do this thing. Uh, first, what I will first do, this looks a little crazy right now, but what I'll first do is I'll, I'll kind of analyze what I've been playing on the kit and then uh, and then I'll try to program it as closely as possible to, to, uh, to what I'm playing. That's kind of uh, that's kind of the first thing that I would do when trying to create something that's based on whatever drum pattern or or uh, uh, drum style that uh, that I've been playing around with. And uh, the the next the next step then would obviously be to try to record some form of guitars. And right now uh, it's basically just hits, just to kind of. Um, just to kind of go with the drums. It's not very much an evolved um, um, a, a riff, guitar riff as such. It's more just kind of um, going with the drums, so to speak. So if we add the guitars, it's something like this. <laughs> It's kind of it's hard to to kind of grasp what's going on just from from something like this and and of course next step maybe add some mel melody guitars and make it even uh, more chaotic. And um, so this is kind of how we work. That's kind of a starting point. Not. Not maybe the typical one uh, as far as uh, how the drums are playing and so on, uh, but uh, this is kind of how we work nowadays. You know, we take an idea, uh, either start with drums or with guitars, and uh, we use Cubase and uh, we program drums, and this is kind of how we how we do our thing. So instead of instead of recording demos like we used to do in a studio, you rent a studio and all that. Uh, to kind of know where you're at with the songs. We don't really have to do that anymore. Uh, with the sounds that are available uh, nowadays, like as far as uh, 
effects that are even in the programs um, and, and drum sounds with, with tune track drums and, uh, and so on. I mean, you hear yourselves, it's pretty much, it's almost like an album sounding kind of thing already. So that gives us a very uh, distinct idea of whether it's going to work as a song or not. So, all great tools. tools you know like tune track drums and and being able to program uh, whatever ideas you might have in Cubase uh, it's awesome the only thing you got to watch out with is you got to be able to play it as well because at some point I'm gonna have to learn all this the, the drums that that I I come up with and that I program I gotta learn and and record for album and for live use so um, Sometimes that's the only tricky part because uh, your mind sometimes is better than your body, so to speak. So you got to kind of uh, know what you're doing and, and kind of uh, feel your way throughout the process, so you know that whatever I'm, I'm, I'm creating in the in the computer environment and whatever uh, kind of drum patterns and, and and rhythmical ideas that we that we that we're writing actually will work not only for recording but also make uh, decent live material and songs that people can actually listen to without you know shooting themselves that's a bad example but you get what I mean <laughs> Just want to do a, a little quick run through of uh, the drum set I'm, that I'm using uh, currently, or actually the, the brands I've been uh, playing for years. And uh, as you can see, the drums themselves are uh, Sonar. Uh, this is a SQ2 kit uh, in beech wood. And uh, actually, this uh, the very uh, uh, you know outer the, the appearance of the kit is actually. Uh, the, the color and the, the wood is actually a one-off kind of custom thing so uh, please don't ask them ever to, to build you a kit like this because they, they probably won't be able to do that. Uh, a gorgeous kit, uh, played sonar for years and years and same thing with the Sabian cymbals. Um, right now this is not a touring setup right here, this is more of a me spoofing around on the kit type of setup. Uh, some of the symbols are similar to the live stuff that I use, but but the setup is, is quite different. I don't have a big china like on here, for example, which I usually do um, when we play live. Uh, I want to mention the seat too, Porter and Davis, excellent uh, sound seat or whatever you want to call it. So it's a uh, it's basically a monitor in your seat, so it shakes your rump and. Uh, it's uh, it's got its own amplifier to it and it works really well. Uh, once you get used to a thing like that, you gotta kind of have it. You get really dependent on it. Uh, so Porter and Davis, those are cool. All the drums fitted with uh, Remo heads. Uh, right now, it's uh, Emperor coated, uh, except for the one small tongue because I didn't have one at the time. But uh, yeah. Those are the heads that the, my heads of choice right now, and the Emperor X uh, um, by Remo as well. The coated Emperor X on the snare, and that thing can take a lot of beating. So um, that's about it, I think. <laughs> Also got to mention, of course, the sticks, Vincent sticks. Uh, I've been playing them for a good while now, and uh, most likely you're seeing this video uh, from their YouTube channel or from their homepage. And uh, uh, those sticks are really cool. Uh, they're a little different in the way that they apply uh, the wax to those sticks, so they're really nice on your hands, but still really good grip. So that combined with uh, really good craftsmanship and excellent, you know, attention to detail and all that excellent stick so if you haven't tried them check them out hey guys if you help 
us uh, spread this video. Um, there's uh, three uh, live DVDs from the Coloss Tours and uh, also three pairs of sticks that have been uh, involved in the crazy creative process of Meshuggah uh, writing uh, the new album that will hopefully be out in 2016. So uh, three lucky winners have the chance to uh, win a, a pair of used sticks and uh, one each not used uh, Blu-ray live DVD thingy. So. Uh, help us spread this and uh, you can be a lucky winner of those items.